Well, hello, loves. This is Kimberly here, coming to you with my plan with me out of my happy planner. I have pre-done my planner for this week. Actually, on this video here, I'm gonna show you my happy planner as well as my Heidi Swap Planner. And then I'm going to unbox a planner that I've had for some time. So let's jump right in and let me show you what I've done. This was last week's layout. I really enjoyed this layout for this week and I'm pre-recording this. It's actually Saturday today. I'm getting a jump start on it a little bit, but I really enjoy uh, looking at my planner for this week. And I think I'm gonna pretty much love the same thing for next week here. As you can see here, I did it in the red, the black and white. Monday is my 24th my husband and myself's 24th wedding anniversary. So, and my wedding colors were red or are <laughs> uh, red, black, and white, okay? Those are the colors that we went with and I wanted to stick with my wedding colors. As you can see here, I used, uh, rotated the washi tape, didn't use too much of the scrapbook paper, but this washi tape, uh, you probably recognize it comes from the Dollar Tree. This one, the black and white stripe, came from Walmart. Target has it also. And again, I rotated that off. The scrapbook paper came, if I can reach it here, I was still working out of the Valentine's Day book that I picked up from Michael's, the Recollections Valentine's Day, and I used that piece there. Let me see if I can find it here. <laughs> so I can show you the entire piece. So there's the piece there that I used. I just cut it down to fit in to fit in my weekend columns there. So I use that. And as well as just one of the blocks here, here in the corner here that says, love you to the moon and back. I just use this here out of this sheet. I cut one of the pages. And I've been using these all month. So it took me a whole month and I still didn't use them all, so. But I used that. Then I had some stickers that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And it was this one that I used as well as this one. Those came from Dollar Tree. This sticker here do it with passion or not at all. <laughs> That's anything in life. Anything in life, including your marriage. Um, but I used that sticker out of the Create 365 stickers, the old pack. These stickers here as well came out. Let me see if I can reach up here and get this. I'm sitting here at my desk area. This sticker here came out of this pack here. And these gold stickers here, right here, they came out of this Create 365 sticker book. And the skinny washi tape, you know, I picked up from, I use this almost every week. I picked up from Michaels. Then I use my labeler and printed my headers here. 
and this paper clip here. Um, I did a haul on last week where I picked up a whole bunch of these. So I used uh, just one of these in this, this week's planner here and just stuck it up top there in my planner. But that is basically it for my happy planner. Now I will show you my Heidi Swap planner. Now here's my Heidi Swap planner. I'm still trying to get used to this planner. I didn't do much last week, much designing. I'm using this planner here for uh, my YouTube channel. But here's this week's layout. Here, again, I try to do the same colors in uh, every week to coordinate with <laughs> my planners here. And I just kept this simple. I continued to use the um, washi tape, the lacy washi tape that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I did pick, uh, cut out a little piece of that scrapbook paper and place it up here because it is black, white, and pink throughout this planner. But you can still see the pink on the numbers. Um, put a piece of that black and white stripe to divide uh, Friday, fr uh, not Friday, Saturday from Sunday. And I used some more of those stickers there that says true love here. And on my anniversary date, I put promise, okay? That's basically it. That's all I did in my hottie swap planner. This planner is so small, uh, you really don't have to do too much decorating in it. And then I placed another one of those cute little paper clips up top there. And that is it for my hottie swap. Now I'm going to unbox a another planner. Okay guys, I've had this planner uh, <laughs> ever since December and have not opened it yet. So I said, oh well, let me uh, pull it out and run through it with uh, you guys and share it with you. This is the recipe planner here. And I caught this on sale for $10 and some change right after Christmas. So I was tickled pink. Get some tape up there. And it is. Okay, so with this planner here, pull everything out here. Place that down there. Um, these are the stickers that you get here. And I'm just gonna show them. They start you out with quite a bit. I love these. The last page here. Let's start here. Okay. 
Oops. And then they give you these magnetic bookmarks, page marks, and an arrow, and a banner tab there, black and white. You can use these in my regular planner as well. And then you have some sticky notes here that can be used, which I think is neat. So um, you start out very well <laughs> um, with this planner. Everything is sticking here. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, and then I pop this open. And it says, people who love to eat always are always the best people, okay? It's by a Julia Child's quote. And here's the inside. The pictures are beautiful. This favorite recipe collection belongs to and it has a line for me to put my name. And I'm just gonna skim through this real quick here. The first tab is family favorites, but before I get to that, it shows you how to set a table here for casual as well as formal. And then you get to the family favorites. I'm loving the pictures in this. Nothing brings people together like good food. And this is where you write your recipe. It starts with recipe, ingredients, preparation, uh, description and everything. And then on the sidebar, uh, it serves for whatever, it serves the number of people, main ingredients, difficulty, prep time, cook time, temperature, any notes that you have, that kind of thing. This one is delicious, main dishes. Same thing. This one here is entertaining, which I'm gonna really love this uh, section here. Good cooks never lack friends. And then you have the same layout there on the page. This one is slow cooker, and I'm definitely gonna enjoy this as well because I like I love to use my uh, slow cooker for my crock pot, so I'm loving that. Next help, uh, header is healthy fair. First we eat, then we do everything else. Eat good, feel good. And then the next one is quick and easy. Cook well doesn't mean cooking fancy. Yum. The next header is desserts. <clears throat> I'm loving the pictures in this recipe planner. A party without cake. It's just like meeting. <laughs> okay, and I guess this is the last one. Let's eat, and it's miscellaneous. It has your measurements right there. And then back here, let's see, it's another goodie here. Let's see. Comes with a pocket folder. Love that. Oh, it comes with a shopping list. So I love that as well. Okay. But that is it for that unboxing. Um, I think I'm gonna love this recipe planner. I like what I see in it so far. Well, let me show you, which I've showed on my um, my last haul, but let me show you what I picked up. I want to give you an overview of what I picked up. 
um, picked up this. This is the new pack. Of the stickers here. This is the new pack of the stickers here. And they are so pretty. Okay. Okay, so uh, just run through of the stickers here. Oh my goodness, I love that. All black and white and gold. <laughs> wow. That's pretty as well. I'm probably gonna end up going to get another book of these. These are so gorgeous. Love that. Oh, these are cute too. A little weekend. I love the. I know I'll be going back to get this. <laughs> they need to just do a book, a book of weekend stickers. Create 365. I hope you're watching this. <laughs> do a book of nothing but weekend stickers. Um, but that is so cute. I'm loving this. Um, those are cute too. I think that's the last page. Yeah, I think I'll be picking up another batch of these. But those are uh, my favorites there, as well as these black and white. Okay. <laughs> Super cute. Oh, and I, I should have showed you this. Um, I think these are clearance right now. But uh, Michaels had uh, or have these clips, the knife, fork, and spoon. And I saw them. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get that to go with my uh, recipe planner. <laughs> so I thought that was super cute. They had them in uh, yellow, I think blue and green as well. I picked that up as well. Then at Hobby Lobby, I picked up my bag. And I showed this uh, on my haul. And I am so ready to fill this bag up here. Okay. I'm probably going to be doing that sometime next week. But I love the compartments that it has. It's Velcro's on and off there. Have two of them. Have pockets here. Okay. And that zips. And then you have this as well. Have that zippy thing here. As well as this here. Yes, when I went in there the other day and Actually, I called, I was in the area, and called them and asked them had they put any of their new items out. And they said, yes, they started putting them out. So I said, okay, I'm gonna run in there and see what they have. And they had this one bag sitting there. <laughs> one planner sitting there, but I didn't need the planner, so I left that there. And um, just glazed at some of the things that they had. The things are beautiful. That they, the that they came out with this year. But I'm, I said I was not gonna go crazy on uh, picking up all that stuff. I'm just gonna get really what I need. But anyway, that is the end. But I appreciate you tuning in to this channel. Um, those that have been hanging in there with me, those faithful ones, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you so much. Um, but again, thank you so much. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have not done so, hit that subscribe button to Diva Designing on a Dime with Kimberly Davis. Um, I can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, as well as Twitter. Again, thank you so much for watching. You take care. And guys, have a blessed week. Love you all. Bye-bye, guys.